Let's go! Yo, what is up guys? My name is Haki and welcome to a brand new Modern Warfare Warzone video. Now in today's video, guys, gonna be showing you guys the absolute best class setup to rock in Call of Duty Warzone. This class literally has it all. It's good for close, medium, and long range. This class literally has everything you would need for any situation in the game. Like legit, this class is super overpowered. And I really don't see like what specific situation you wouldn't be prepared with this class setup. Like it's actually like this good. And I got you guys a beautiful high kill solo win after I actually showcase you guys the setup. And if you guys do go on to enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like on it so I know you want more videos like these. And if you are new around here, don't forget to drop a sub. Join the Hacky Army on the road to 20k. Subscribe, turn on that bell so you never miss a video or stream. But without further ado, let's get into the setup. So let's head into the setup real quick. So as you guys can can see we're gonna be rocking an AR and a thermal sniper here for the AR we're gonna be using the M4A1 I'm pretty sure it's one of the first ARs you unlock so if you guys are new to the game it's gonna take you absolutely no time to unlock it and for the attachments we're gonna be rocking on the M4 we're gonna use the monolithic suppressor uh, you can use the lightweight suppressor if you want, but any suppressor honestly will do. You can use the tactical, the lightweight, the monolithic. I'm just using the monolithic just because it looks like stat-wise it's probably the best one. Now for the barrel, we're going to be using the stock M16 barrel. Now for the optic, I went with the corp combat. Um, you can use whichever optic you really want to, but in terms of the optic, I found this one to be probably the best one because it's good for close and medium range. Don't forget, we do have a sniper in this setup, so in terms of long range, that's going to be handling everything. But you can use whichever one you want. But personally, I do like the Corp Combat the best. And then we're going to be using a rear grip. You can use any one of these you'd like. And then finally, for ammunition, we're going to be using the 60 round mag. As I'm playing more Warzone, I actually found out that the stock magazines are actually really small. Like, they have like 20 to 30 bullets each, which is not enough for Warzone. I find myself having to reload in gunfights like very often. So we're going to be rocking the 60 round mag. So we have pretty much no issues whatsoever in terms of running out of ammo or having to reload in gunfights then for the secondary we're going to be using a thermal ax50 you can use the hdr if you want to i heard it maybe does a little bit more damage but i don't think i unlocked thermal for the hdr so that's the reason i'm using the ax50 instead and before doing everything actually just make sure you use the overkill perk so you can actually carry two primary weapons so for attachments we're going to be using the muzzle brake and for the barrel i chose to use the 32 one and for the optic as you can see there's two thermal options there's the thermal sniper sniper scope and then there's the thermal duo scope so i'm just gonna be rocking the dual power although if you do have this one that's fine as well as long as it's thermal thermal is just incredibly op in warzone like honestly if you haven't tried thermal like what are you doing and then for the final attachment we're gonna be using the fully loaded perk um, you can use other perks if you'd like, but I found that uh, that I do run out of ammo fairly quick And that's pretty much it for the two weapons now We're gonna be going ahead and going into perks So for perk number one, I chose the double time and as I said earlier Make sure you are using the overkill perk and then I went with amped for perk number three and then for lethal and tactical for lethal I went with the c4 what I really like to do is I like to peek real quick throw the c4 hit the enemy with it and then quickly push and finish him off with the m4 and then going to the tactical this is once again another incredibly op thing in the setup we got the heartbeat sensor the heartbeat sensor is actually maybe the most op thing in this setup so for any class you want to use definitely use the heartbeat sensor it's basically like a portable uav so pretty much guys for every warzone game you play just make sure you guys get all your team's money or if you're playing solo just gather up enough money get the loadout drop and then you'll have the most op setup possible trust me but that was the setup guys i have a beautiful high kill solo win gameplay to show you guys now once again if this did help you out make sure you drop a like subscribe if you are new anyways this has been hacky Enjoy the gameplay. I'm driving. I'm driving.
I will drive. I'll drive, hands off. All drive, hands off. I will drive. Less than five targets remain. You've got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. Zone relocated. Last chance, soldier. Kill or be killed. Coming, actual. Requesting flyover. UAV entering the AO. 